they came upon the intersection. Fanon lived in a comfortable house, in a comfortable part of the island. His life mapped out for him by his comfortable parents. But he knew he didn't belong. He saw through the virtual edifice left behind by the settler. And so he left, seeking a new place, a place of the like-minded, the forward thinking, the righteous. And he fought. He fought for his new friends, for the right to life. But no matter how hard he pressed against the machine, he knew he didn't belong. So he proposed a new world, an equal plane, as opposed to hate he found. And he's still waiting. Perhaps he's waiting here, inside the polygons, behind the texture maps, through the fields of algorithms, somewhere in the intersection. And so they continued their unfinished conversation. He asked the other, where are we going? The great success story of humanity has been the consolidation of power, of wealth. This tale of progress has been overshadowed by revolution, uprising, and protest, accelerated by war, imposed through pillaging and oppression. The human resource, mind of all use value, discarded, shut down. What is the future? SMS organized riots, flesh-born fuel cells, what are they going to do with all the bodies? First they came for rubber, palm oil and cotton, then for oil. Now it's tungsten, coal tan and gold. We hold in our hands a symptom of war. Can't you feel it? The vibration unit contains tantalum, the case and screen, tungsten. We're bathing in the light of collapsed mines and forced labor. Asatua, Nasser, Nkrumah, Zinga, Sekotore, Makiba, Lumumba. They were markers of a new world. There was so much hope then. These sunsets were the most beautiful they'd ever seen. There are so many unmarked boundaries areas of exclusion, edges of the traversable world. How can they tell what is forbidden? They've called us many things over the ages. Swarms, immigrants, malformed and worse. And they try to wear our masks, mimic our movements. What if Fanon's messages were not simply those of love, but a warning of the impending reality that we are asleep to? Wake up, my friend. Let us search for the answer. This hashtag I cannot shake. There we are, so near to the edge of the cliff. The line in the road, the invisible wall in the video game. Like the terrorized animal, forced to the corner. We must fight back. Why? It is simple. We can no longer breathe. Of course, none of this exists. But it's a real experience. Their skin changes their experience of the world, their interactions, their dreams constructed realities that have shaped them. 
the virtual edifices of history, wealth, nationality, property, all fantasies that chain them to their place, mind-forged manacles. We love our master, these guided key swipes and button presses, first-person, high-definition submission to relentless dictatorship, spending our lives embedded in the master's plans. Do you really think Fanon is here? Is there some remnant of his plays embedded on the top of that mountain, above that rendered sky? And he responded, from the moment I became a father, I was awoken from another layer of stasis. I knew that there would come a day that my son would be charged for his mere existence. Today I am baptized, awoken once more from another layer. For the birth of my daughter opens my eyes toward the concentrated madness that wishes to crush her. Do you understand? This is not the old day. The cheek has been bruised beyond repair. A new dawn beckons. If I am guilty, then let it be that I am guilty of dreaming of emancipation. Someone once said, only when restraint is exercised at the right moment, in the calm of night, then can power be exemplified. But when will we find peace? When will we find our way through the intersection? Only the oppressor knows peace because he is really challenged. day in the intersection. The world is burning. Old certainties are dead. I could no longer feel Fanon's ghost, and the intersection had fractured. The strongest fictions are winning. told his children, can it help but think of the two of you and the world that you were birthed in? Your grandparents received the pain and humiliation that runs centuries deep. They thought they'd escaped it in the modern world. Your mother and I inherited their struggles. And now you're being initiated into that revulsion. So the other said to his children, I look at the two of you and the grid that you've fallen into. And I fear for your dreams. My path through life now seems impossible to replicate. I have faith in your caring hearts, that your openness will act as a guard against the hate you're being encouraged to feel. 
blazing sun is coming. And the only way to survive it is to act as one against the machine owners and grid manipulators. Humanity needs your love. Maybe these four children hold the answer. After history has ended, after everything has crumbled, they live, collaborating to make a new life, together, as best as they can. There was a time when it felt there might be a resolution, reconciliation, this geographical separation for a second of geological time has produced this surface difference. Technology has confused everything. Roads, then boats, then planes each bringing more cultures, more communities into closer proximity. Faces changing more rapidly. Humanity reduced to icons, emojis, totems. One clan defines themselves as default. One clan defines themselves as authentic. I see I am your mirror, but what happens when two neutron stars collide? A new black hole, the universe sucked into its event horizon. Our bodies have been pushed, pulled, twisted, streamlined, organized through this system. The process of conditioning is that we are subjugated and then monitored. This has been the way from the old technologies to the new. Perhaps my mother was alluding to this when she told me these words as a child. You will have to work hard. Two, three, five times as much as the white men to even begin to be taken note of. For as long as you are on his land, you will never drink honey at his table. They have been made through language, trained to think in dualities. They have been made to use these terms to understand the world, to simplify its complexity. But each pairing is hierarchical. One term is quietly understood as being more prized than the other. And throughout history, these dualities have been used to justify the exploitation of one by the other. That is what I tell my children, repeatedly if necessary. If only for the love that I hold for them in the depths of my heart, in the eye of the settlers' organized chaos, I cry deeply, ripping into my soul to feed them the nourishment that they will survive with from now into the future. The water is hope and death. Water brought manioc to the Ashanti, a Trojan horse in exchange for slaves. Water brought the Windrush to England in exchange for labor. The Mayflower, the Cressy, the Dufkin, the Empire and their endless wars and marauding continue to make endless movement through the times. Remember those who profit from this turmoil. The demagogues, 
the profiteers of incarceration and conflict. in the machine, this mix of humans, ecosystems, machines, various complex software. This virtual space is yet another construct. The settler continues his sport as he hunts for us across the grid. And our liberal allies become shocked when they see the true faces of these evils repeatedly rendered by the voting stations. But we have suffered this insomnia for a long time. Sleep is the cousin of death. Did their machines bring them together? Taps on warm screens, smiley faces and bro fists. Perhaps reality is too complex to deal with, so they fall back on old tropes, old fetishes. They are walking data sets and algorithmic variants. Log in, log out, tap in, tapped out, and the sign of their skin hangs on them, hangs around them, around their necks. Their flesh continues into the network, haunting their avatars. They construct themselves again here, but the scars remain. there'd never be a day that you'd return from school with the wish of becoming someone other than yourself. Or to be made to feel that your body had a lesser currency than that of your white neighbours. Naively, I'd hope that this pain, this inheritance, would not be delivered to you. But I could not shelter you from that evolutionary algorithmic hydra. The world is shrinking as it burns. And there's nothing left but to help each other. They were wrong. There's no river of blood. Instead, there are walls in people's minds, wishing for physical boundaries from the other. The other language, the other custom, the other skin. Trying to contain something that never existed. My people are angry. We've been led to believe that this is the result of a paranoia, a sickness. In fact, we've been trapped in the oppressive psychosis. These differences that separate us, regardless of our beliefs, intentions or friendship, Maybe it is not I should abandon my blackness, but instead you renounce the system and its design that continues to privilege you. We've been subservient to the algorithms 
of the oppressor until now. The time has come to cast these bonds. for us to become a part of all things. We must fight.